All right, welcome to another segment. Um, in this one, actually, we are going to make a relationship uh, between several properties that we already know so far, okay? And this particular relationship, there are two of them, obviously. First and second, T, DS. T is temperature, DS is the entropy, right? DS is entropy. Um, but also, this is known as Gibbs equations in case you look at different resources, okay? Um, okay, let's get to it. So actually, I'm going to uh, take a step back uh, from the second law, right? In the second law, specifically about the entropy concept, I write this down already, right? If I go from uh, a process from 1 to 2 for irreversible, I will get this equation where S gen will be larger than 0. If I have a reversible, then this S gen will be 0 and I'll get these two equal to each other, okay? But I also want to write the first law applied for a process that goes from 1 to 2, okay? Um, so if I write that, and you know this well, actually, it's not a big deal. Um, w net will be equal to DE of the system. And actually, this DE of the system, we write as the, the capital U plus the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. And if you remember, depending on the situation, I may have this DE, the key kinetic energy and potential energy negligible, right? Um, let's say, let's pretend that I have a, a closed system, right? Um, and I go out and have a piston cylinder system, and it's a stationary system, these two will vanish, so I'll simply get a DU, okay? But again, if it's not there, you incorporate it. Another limitation of what I'm going to drive uh, is that I cannot have, let's uh, look over here to the um, piston cylinder system, let's say that I have some electrical current going through and heating it, heating it up, right? So there's a verb into the system. So this situation will not be able to be captured by this first and second TDS relationships. The first and second uh, TDS relationship only um, helps me where there is uh, that kind of a boundary work, right? We covered this in uh, module four uh, extensively, right? I only have a boundary work. Again, there are multiple applications from that end, so it's not a huge limitation, but you know what you're doing, okay? So simply what I'm saying is this W net only is PD volume. Right? And I will uh, pick a reversible process at this point in time. Um, and actually, I'm going to relax, relax that going a, a little further down the road. Okay? If you go back to the previous, uh, the first segment of this uh, you know, series in terms of entropy, so you can get yourself this equation that, uh, you know, copy paste from right there for a reversible process. Okay? And if I go out and do this, uh, you can see I can multiply TDS. You can see why I call it TDS now. Maybe it's coming uh, to you. Uh, will be equal to TDS, right? Okay, so by the way, this S is capital. Uh, I, I seem to write this as a lower case. Um, that's an unfortunate uh, thing, but I want to make sure that everybody's clear on that one, okay? So then what I will do actually is, I, I think I, I'm, I'm good to go in a sense that you can see this red will be that, the green, right? And that's it, okay? So I'm gonna plug the red to there, the green to there, and DU is the right hand side. So let's write, let's get the business. T dS minus P d volume is equal to du. As the name of this particular segment is TDS relationship, so I'm going to leave TDS alone. So T dS will be du, and this is a capital U as well, plus P d volume. And this is known as the first um, T dS relationship. Personally, I write this per unit mass, okay? That is much more, uh, you know, if I look at tables, for instance, the lowercase s is specific entropy. We don't call it specific, but if you look at the, for instance, internal energy, we call this specific internal energy times P, D, volume. So these two are kind of known as the first TDS relationship. And for personally, me, this is the one that I would know if I only know one of them, okay? Because you can multiply by mass and get to the other one. The second TDS relationship also is not a huge deal. The only thing that I will do over here is just introduce the um, enthalpy concept that we, we covered, right? Do you remember this from previous, uh, we used this extensively in module 5, right? So I'm going to take the derivative of this. So dH will be du. And if you're from mathematics chain rule, P d volume plus V d p, because I don't know which one is constant, which one not. not. So I want to, uh, you know, write the most general one. So now what I, wanna, I want you to look at is look at this green underlined two sections. Can I simply call this TDS? 
Well, too late, I already did it, right? You see, it's the same thing. So I will simply get another relationship now. It's fairly, you know, it's a very uh, simple uh, difference. So TDS, and I'm gonna leave TDS on one side just like I did for the first one, will be equal to DH. And when I move this guy to the other side of the equation, it's gonna have a negative sign this time around, minus VDP, okay? Um, I did it for the lower case. You can also do the, the capital, right? Multiply by uh, mass and you will gonna get uh, this one if you uh, want, okay? By the way, I'm not sure it is uh, not that clear or not, but these P's are the same. I mean, it's not like P to per unit mass, right? Um, so from here, I will get myself, uh, you know, second TDS relationship. And you will be saying, so what? You get like a bunch of uh, different terminologies uh, multiplied by each other. Okay, cool. Well, it will help me, right? I mean, let's, let's be honest in here. Um, DS is uh, really the troublemaker uh, in most of the cases. So what I'm saying is, DU, we talked about this many, 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 many times. Pressure is just a number that I can multiply with. And D volume is also listed and the temperature is. So I don't have to deal with it. For instance, I can find for a constant isothermal process, I can find DS uh, by using you know, like this divided by the capital T as an example. So this comes in um, handy. I really, do, I really do hope that you didn't ask me this question, but I feel like you will ask me that question. Is this guy? He said this reversible process, but you know, I kind of pretended that um, that doesn't exist, right? I was like nothing saying about, hey, this is supposed to be, um, you know, reversible. It's clear that it's a boundary work only, so I'm still stuck there. But let's investigate this reversible process business. Um, you may remember this from module two, is if I have a heat transfer, like let's write the first law, or not write, but revisit. Let me give an example. Like let's say that I have a P and specific volume, right? Graph, and I have my steam dome, whatever. Um, and let's assume that I go from, uh, you know, here to here, right? I can, the isobaric process, I go one to two. So I start with liquid, compressed liquid, I go to the saturated mixture region, then I go to the superheated uh, water uh, region, steam region, right? So now let me ask you a question. Is this, uh, you know, specific, let's give that example. Is this guy a function of how I go? If my, if my process was like this, let's say, in other one, I go down like that, okay? Or I go something like that, doesn't matter. So is this gonna be a function of the W is, is W going to be a function of uh, this pad or that pad? Yes, it is. Look at over here. P times D volume. Already, let's look at this one. Uh, P times D specific volume, right? Because that's what I plotted. So you can see this is a function of that. And same uh, logic can be made for Q net. I need to supply different amount of uh, heat or rather extract from it, depending on the situation. Uh, so it's, these are pad dependent. And I discussed this in module two in detail. Okay, so I'm not going to rehash the same thing. But what I'm going to talk about now is that looking at this equation, let's talk about this. So T, DS, DU, D volume, I mean specific volume. These are properties. Those properties depend whether I go from here to here, here, or, or like a crazy path like this, right? Doesn't matter, nah. So this is going to be a function of this versus that point. These are point functions, properties are point functions. And I don't see any path dependence over here in any of the TDS relationship. So what does this mean? Whether I go to a reversible process or irreversible process, this relationship will hold true because it is only a couple of properties that I multiply, subtract, add, etc., etc. Okay. So for that reason, these TDS relationships are good for irreversible. I mean, if it is irreversible, obviously it's going to be for reversible too, right? Reversible processes. So this is a little bit broader than you think it is in terms of the application space. Okay. Okay, let's stop over here. I'll, I'll come back with the uh, application of TDS to uh, solids, uh, liquids, ideal gases, etc. Okay, I'll be right back.